Hello and welcome back with another video. This is the first part of High Definition Video Recording Series. You will be facilitated with more videos on High Definition Video Recording. Please check the description of this video for more information about new and upcoming videos. In this video you will only learn recording and publishing of HD videos. Editing you will learn in upcoming videos. Mteso is the software will be used for HD video recording. To download Mteso, please see the description. So let's start. First step is to record your screen. To do so there are two ways. First one is to click on Mteso icon and wait for the next screen to appear. Here click on record the screen. Second method is to search for Contesa Recorder and run it. It will bring the same screen as shown before in first method. Here there are few options that you must understand before getting started. Here you need to select the area of screen to be recorded. You can select full screen or specify the area to be recorded from here. Manually selection of screen area along with predefined screen recording sizes are also available. Next is the audio recording option. You can select audio recording from your PC or laptop's microphone to record your own voice. Or you can disable audio recording if you want to add audio later in form of songs or a computerized voice like I am doing. The last thing here is webcam. If you have a webcam and want to record yourself and you can enable webcam recording from here. Another useful thing here is the understanding of shortcuts that are mostly used during video recording. To see the default shortcuts follow on screen instructions. You can also change the shortcuts here. Ok so click on record to start the video recording. From here you can pause and resume your video anytime. Click on stop to complete the video recording. From here, select save as. Give the name to the recording and hit OK. This is the recorded file but this file can be opened only in Contesa application. This is not the finished product yet. There are two ways to open this file in Contesa. Click on Taser icon and select Import Media. Select the newly recorded video file and that's it. Second and simplest method is to double click on recorded file it will open in Contesa immediately. This area is timeline. These are editing tools, their use I will tell you in the following videos. You can drag and drop this file to timeline or simply add by right click and select, add to timeline. From here you have to select video size. This step will make your video a full HD video. Select the 1080 by 1920 from here. And then resize the video to fit the frame completely.
It is important to save your project, follow the instructions to save your project. Here is your project file. Now whenever you run the project file it will start all your save work from where you left. It means, whenever you need to resume your work you need to run the project file. Do not run the recorded file as it will start again from beginning. Double click on project to resume your work. Click here to preview your video. Now click on produce and share. You can see here this is not a full HD size video, therefore from this drop down menu, select, custom production settings. Now video size is changed to full HD which you can see here. In this window you have to select the output format, you can use the recommended format. Or you can select any other media format from this list. I am selecting WMV. Click next till finish and wait for processing completion. This is new folder just created. Open it and look for the media file. Check the properties to confirm it is full HD video. Simply open it and your new recorded video is ready for sharing. Important thing here is, deleting the project will not delete the recorded file. But if you delete the recorded file, your project will not work. See here how. It is asking for the missing file. If file is not deleted but only location is changed then you can simply browse that file again and your project will be workable again. But if you delete the file your project will no longer work. Restore the deleted file and check again. Your project is workable again. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please feel free to leave comments. Hit the like button below and most important subscribe to my channel to see more useful videos.